Hey guys, Moonstar here, and I'm here with Dark Panda. Hola. I'm not Spanish. Yeah, don't don't do another intro in Spanish. Hey, those were pretty good intros. They Using were, word reference. They, you were horrible. Shh, that was a long time ago. Hey, no guys. one should go ever searching for those videos. Yeah. Don't go searching for those videos. Anyways, guys, before this episode gets on track and we finally get into a topic and start our discussion, I want to say really quickly, go visit Dark Panda's channel and subscribe to him. He's a really small channel and deserves subscribers. He lied. Wait, what? Nothing. You totally, you totally no, no, deserve... no. You said something. No, 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 no. You deserve subscribers. Anyways. Nah. Uh, essentially... Essentially, he's just a mini version of my channel. I sort of take that offensively because up? I don't do FNAF theories for views. Hmm? So, are we gonna start with the topic or what? Uh, do you want to continue with the same topic as last episode or. Oh, yeah, so we were talking about trios of the Pokemon franchise. And how I want to I want to touch on Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. So do I actually, because I want your personal opinion on the trio. The Zapdos is game. the best. Articuno got nerfed. Moltres was horrible all around. Moltres, I agree, was horrible. Although it was my favorite, like design wise. Have you seen his Soul Silver and Heart Gold sprites? He looks like flaming poultry. His shiny sprite doesn't help him anywhere else. He looks like an undercooked version. I agree with you there. Alright, so, uh, you, you were saying? I personally didn't like any of the Legendary Trio, to be honest, though. Really? I mean, I quite enjoyed the Reggie Trio, when it was just the trio. I, I like to forget Reggie Gigas exists because of his horrible ability. Slow start. Half attack and speed for five turns. By then, he's gonna be knocked out. It, that's just a stupid idea. Like He only works really well in double battles when you use skill swap on it. Or something like that. But, um... I don't like any legendaries because there are normal Pokemon who, when used in a team, are better. Salamance! Salamance, uh... Garchomp. Metagross. Blaziken. I love Blaziken. Okay, now we're just naming Gen 3 Pokemon. But on the topic of Gen 3... Uh, uh, I guess Flygon. He, I, I'm really hoping Sun and Moon. He gets a Mega. Like honestly, Gen Three remakes. He was like one of the most hyped for, hoping for a, a Mega. No. Why? Why I, you deny his Flygon? I, I am not happy for Sun and Moon. I am really why? not. I bought X and Y. I liked X and Y. I bought Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I liked Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. The thing I realized with the Pokemon game, though, is after you beat the game, there's really nothing you can do. But I think they're never... going to advance on that, because really they were experimenting that with the Delta episodes in uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, but I I've, I feel like there should be, like, the Battle Tower, if you remember oh, yeah. that. I mean, they had, like, a nod to that, like, in a development. A scale model is not <laughs> the Battle Tower. <laughs> they were getting ready for it. Probably. No. Shut up. If you even mention that scale model from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire again, I will kill you. Okay, I'm just gonna call it Horus for uh, simplicity's sake. It's, it's much faster to say. Okay, right. anyways, going back to what I was gonna say about uh, the legendary trio of birds. So, uh, if you don't speak Spanish, you may, uh, you may not understand where I'm going with this. You but, don't speak uh, Spanish do, either, so... Just Arctic explain. Uno, Zap, Dos, Mole, Trace. Trace. Uno, Uno dos, dos, Trace. trace. One, two, three. And then, of course, Molt as in um, Volcano, Molten. Yeah, Zap, Zap and, Arctic. and Arctic. It shows you how uncreative Game Freak was in the beginning of making People say games. Game Freak's running out of ideas. They ran out of ideas from the start. Who make who draws a Pokeball with eyes? Ken Sugimori. That's who. 
who draws a Pokeball with a little oval coming out the bottom. Fungi. Amoongus, or whatever your name is, I don't care. Amoongus. I hate Amoongus, you. Amoongus. Amoongus. Or, uh, Amoongus has actually seen its fair share of competitive. Eh. You know what Pokemon I really hated in black and white, since I just thought of it now? Ooh. That frog. The green frog or whatever. Green what frog. is it? Um, oh, what's his name? There's Politoed, but that's like a yes. gen... Politoed. He was introduced in um, Omega... Or not Omega Ruby, uh, Black and White. No, he wasn't. He was a Gen 2. Politoed was the uh, King's Rock... Of, uh, King's Rock held item for... Uh, Poly world. Oh. Well, oh no. Oh, he just got a buff. Politoed? He could make rain? I hated it. Yeah, no, everybody else can make rain. Lots of people can. I know, but, but Politoed's the biggest offender of this because he had special movesets that he could build around his check capability of raining. Well, no, you rain. could get a lot of Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon with the ability Swift Swim more threats in rain, as it the ability boosts their speed. Yeah, but freaking Politoed was the worst defender of, mm -hmm. like, um, have you heard the term weather battles? E yes. Is that where they just spam weather moves over and over yeah, again? Yeah. They try to they override it with something yeah, else. Yeah, want to keep it raining. Personally, I like to try and keep it sunny day, so then I get an infinite use on solar beam. Uh, I... The reason I use Primal Groudon in all of my things now on a it makes Ruby, water completely yeah. unaffected. You you can't rain. He has drought. The only way to so do it is to switch him out or to uh, bring in like a Mega Rayquaza and use the Delta Stream ability, mm -hmm. which takes away all weather. Actually, no, it's his uh, Cloud Nine which does that. And then when he Mega Evolves, then he gets Delta Stream, which only just boosts uh, flying type attacks. I don't like Mega Rayquaza. Like, I feel like Mega Rayquaza, because he ate the stone, like, he is able to hold another item. That is way too overpowered in certain I know, because it makes them able to hold, like, leftovers or something. Yeah. Alright. Speaking of overpowered, uh, Megas, two Pokemon that have, like, the, basically within the week of X and Y coming out, two Pokemon that were banned from competitive, Mega Garchomp and Mega Kangaskhan. I can see Mega um, Kangaskhan. The double slap ability was really helpful. Yeah, it was banned and competitive. Um, yep. Mega Garchomp, I believe it was just... Actually, I know Garchomp was banned. I'm not sure about Mega Garchomp. I know Mega Blaziken wasn't allowed in certain... Um, Smogon battles, but... Mm. That was just because of speed boost. Yeah. I, I kind of don't like it how uh, some of the starters get, like, new abilities, because it just makes them sort of more overpowered, as, uh, the, uh, just the Overgrow, Blaze, and Torrent abilities were good enough. I don't like hidden abilities as much, and I'm kind of bummed that, uh, starters have hidden abilities. Mm -hmm. The starters were supposed to just be generic clones of each other through generations. I see where you're coming from with that, but I'm actually kind of happy that they're given, like, giving the starters new abilities. I'm okay with just move sets or type changes, yeah. balance. You know. the, those are the Pokemon we fell in love though when we first started a game. We fell in love Squirtle, with those Pokemon. Squirtle love. Squirtle hype. I, I actually my first starter was Charmander. I hate your guts. No, I'm kidding. I, I use Squirtle every time now, but Charmander. Yeah, I mean, my... it, it's always tough for me, like. When I played through Soul Silver for like the first time, like I was like really intense in it, and I've like, did you ever play through Soul Silver? I've played for hard Pokemon games. Yeah, I mean, I love uh, the the Poke Walker. I mean, I'm probably like the only person who actually enjoys it. Partially because uh, later on in the Poke Walker, uh, there was a route that allowed you to catch Spiritomb. And for those who don't know how to catch Spiritomb, it was a pain in the arse to catch it in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Oh. Do, do you know um, how Legendary Beasts um, and Diartic um, all of them? I almost said Articuno. They're dead uh, Jolteon, Saporeon, and Flareon. What? Resurrected by Hello. Th those are those are Eevee Lucians. 
I was yeah. talking about Entei, Suicune, and Raikou. What do you mean? The legend, the um, beasts, legendary beasts. Yeah. In the game they were first introduced in, um, uh, gold and silver. They broke it. They broke the game. Ow! It's just overpowered. No. D do you not know? Uh, hold on. So, in the original Gold and Silver games, the move Roar, what you know how Roar, when you use it, you're supposed to, um, your opponent's Pokemon, if wild, the flees the battle? Yeah. What, what it was programmed to do in the original games, because it couldn't have a Pokemon flee, the game was programmed to remove that Pokemon from existence. Oh. So, because Entei... Raikou and Suicune all knew Roar, if they used it, their game was, like, done. You could not catch them anymore. Oh. They just kind of went, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. See, I kind of want to talk about roaming legendaries. And how they disgust me? Uh. Do you know the uh, YouTuber by the name of Chaga Conroy? Uh, yes, I do. Let's Player. Have you seen- do, have you been following him recently? Uh, not recently, but I- I know him. That's all yeah. that matters. Yeah, so recently he's been going through his pla <coughs> Platinum Let's Play. And earlier we talked about the three- or the bird trio. So later in the, uh, after game, you can talk to Professor Oak and he'll tell you that they've been spotted in, uh, Sinnoh, where Gen 4 takes place. And, uh, so they become roaming legendaries. Chaggy Conroy, who previously has had pretty good luck with roaming legendaries, considering he caught his Mesprit relatively quickly, spent, I believe, four and a half hours trying to catch the three of them. Ha! And he had, like, mean look on his, uh, his Crobat, which, which is, uh, his nick the nickname he gave to the Crobat is just one giant pun, which is Acrobat, which is both for its incredibly high speed, but Acrobat is a Crobat. Pro but, yeah. I, I love um, Chuck Conroy and his uh, Mario Party. Oh yeah, that was fun. I love the Mario Party videos with him. And, um, oh, what's the um channel called that uploads only Mario Party things? Like, all of the compilations. The Runaway Guys, I think? I've never seen them. Uh, Chugga Conroy is one of them, but, like, it's just compilations of, like, the funny moments from their games they do as a group. Yeah. It's actually hilarious to watch. Especially with, um, one of them, which involves Chugga and another guy. The guy is getting really far in um, Mario Party, and, um, Chugga buys a, um, warp whistle... So which oh. switches him with the other person. So he's, uh. like, right at the ending. It's like, I'm gonna win! I'm gonna... What are you doing? No. No! <laughs> <laughs> he fucking starts to freak out. Mario Party, the ruiner of friendships. Mario Hold on. Party I can think of, friends. like... Any Mario Party, any Super Smash Brothers, and any Mario Kart. Mario is the ruiner of friendships. Alright, so going back to uh, Chugga. <laughs> back uh, on topic. Yeah, playing through his Pokemon Platinum, he was uh, he likes to show off all the features. So one of the multiplayer features that you can do is like groups. So he's playing with his guest, which he join, which joins him after every gym battle, so they can do a battle and sometimes show off a new multiplayer feature. This time they were showing off groups, and they created a group, and they combined their two names. And uh, I'm going to tell you what the two names combined to. Are you ready for this? Uh -huh. Sugar. Nice. They combined Chugga, and I forget what the other guy's name was. But anyways, uh, I'm going, I'm going to talk back to roaming legendaries. There was the oh, thing, my. and it's still in there, I believe. If you used, uh, like, hypnosis or something on a roaming legendary, it didn't matter. Even if it was asleep, it would still run away. Oh yeah, that's the thing, you couldn't keep it in a battle. Unless you had arena trap, or mean look. And Actually, mean look... It I'll wait until you finish your thought. Okay, sorry. Not me, look. Arena Trap, which is Diglett and Doug Trio's ability, and uh, 
trap inches. It doesn't affect the bird trio, so... You know, you have to have a mean look. Otherwise, they're going to be running away after yeah. the first turn. I can't remember what person did this, but he was playing... Uh, trying to catch the legendary beasts. He used mean look to keep them in the battle, and they still managed to run away. Hmm. I know it's mean like, look wears off if you switch out the Pokemon, or the Pokemon faints. They just ran away immediately next turn. Hmm. They could have used roar. No, like they. It's like Pokemon ran away. That was the exact message. Hmm. Huh. It wasn't I think that was possible. Thing. I don't. I didn't know if it was a glitch with the guy's game or what happened. But it's like, okay. Good job, roaming legendaries and game freak for being dumbasses yeah. when you programmed your game. The roaming legendaries in Sinnoh in general. It's like off the scale of roaming legendaries. So, to put into perspective, Jodo, the the Jodo remakes are gold and soul silver. They had a total of three roaming legendaries, which included Raikou, Entei, and then Latios and Latias, depending on which version you had. Mm -hmm. Then there was Sinnoh, which came before it, which had Mesprit, the Bird Trio, and Cresselia. Uh, I'm in your house, by the way. Wait, what? I'm, I'm in your house. That sounds kind of creepy, but no. you know I didn't do it. Mean. Take Great. Panda's house, panda's house, panda's house, and make out with the TARDIS. What? No! <laughs> no! Get wrecked. <laughs> no! <laughs> In the arms of an angel. I'll be back. Hold on. I'm going to get you the materials to make a TARDIS once you get a house. You need a house. I only have 15 gems. Do quests or something. Here, I'll give you paper to talk to the janitor at spawn A. Uh, I, I don't think we have time in this video, considering it's how late? It's 10.15 yeah, this video is at 17 minutes. I had to. I have to cap it off. I don't want it getting too long. Kappa. Kappa. Okay. Kappa. <laughs> do you want to do the outro again, Chris, or do you want me to take it this time? Yeah, you can take it. Okay, I'm. I'm apparently good at outros. I am not. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna wrap it up here since we've been recording for 17 minutes, almost 18 minutes now. I'm gonna actually head to bed after this recording. But we'll, um, well, well, what a, okay. Paper. Oh, oh, bye. There, it's, it's, oh, it's unprivated. You can, you can come back. In. But anyways, um, I'm gonna sign off. We'll see you guys in the next, what, are, what should we call this series? Rant, er, nerd talk. Is that what I'm gonna call this? Just when you and me join the server and we start talking about random crap? Just nerd talk? The Putin cast. It's a combination of Panda and Moon. The Poon cast. Yep. Okay. Well, we've got a we've got a name. Um, so I'll see you guys next time on Poon cast. We're totally <laughs> going to fix that, by the way. We're not going to call it Poon cast. You'll see what I we actually call it. Panda cast. Panda star. Panda star. I don't care. We'll think of a name off camera. So, um, we'll see you guys in the next episode where we decide to just continue ranting about topics that neither of us truly Nerd care topics. about. Topics that... Care about. Actually, next time, we'll talk about something... We'll talk about confusing card games. There. Topic set. Uh, remi so. Remind me to show you, um... Uh... Uh, what is it called? Uh, Boss Monster. That's a confusing one. Okay. But anyways, um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Oh, a buyer purchased something. Here's your shovel yeah. back. But we'll see you next time, guys. But oh, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Done. Hey, you could have just auctioned it off, and I would have bought it again and made you more money. Oh, screw you.
<laughs> all right, we'll see, see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye.